Hey guys, and welcome to part five of our AI chatbot series. Now, this is just going to be a shorter kind of bonus episode that's giving you guys some extra information about the chatbot, show you a few examples of how to actually use it, some of its limitations, and just really a little bit more info for those of you that are interested. I don't expect everyone to watch this video, but if you are, I uh, expect to just kind of understand maybe how to use this in a more advanced way and a little bit more info on kind of how it works and some of the things I feel like I skipped over in the other videos. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is just the way that I've decided to use this chatbot so you guys can maybe get an idea of kind of the use that you can use it for. So I have this Discord server. I think I have like almost a thousand people in here or something now. And I get asked the same questions all the time, whether that be on my YouTube, in the comment section, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. But a lot of people ask me these questions on Discord. So I decided to make an FAQ chat that implements the chatbot model that we just discussed. Now it's similar to the first chatbot I showed you guys at the beginning, but I've added a few more responses and I'll just show you how it works here quickly so you can get an idea. So for example, if I say hello and then I tag the bot, um, we should get a response in a second. It says hello. If I say like, what's up? at bot uh, it says creating the singularity just some funny stuff for now but then if i ask questions like what is your age and again we're, we're treating the bot kind of as if it's me uh responding to you so we'll say at bot um you see 18 years young if i say like where do you go to school at bot then you see I'm in university for computer science. So there's just a bunch of different responses for simple questions like that. And I don't know, it's kind of cool. It's fun to see people go on and kind of mess with the chatbot. And sometimes it makes mistakes and it doesn't have answers for everything. But obviously, if you see questions that are asked a lot, you can go ahead and just add a new intent for that, retrain the bot. And that's kind of what I've been doing as I go through here. I'm trying to think of any other questions that I can show you guys. I think some people ask me like, when did you start coding i don't know if i program one for this let's see though at bot uh, and i've been coding for six years started when i was 12 years old so you guys kind of get the point on that so anyways that is kind of an example of how i decided to use the bot you guys can throw that on discord server facebook bot whatever you want to use it for but now i just want to show you um actually let me show you with this example too as something i've done is sometimes you're going to get asked a question that doesn't make any sense and rather than just picking the closest answer or like whatever the bot thinks it is we probably want to give the user like ask another question or like I don't quite understand. So for example, if I say like I don't uh, understand, well that's not really a question and I definitely didn't program anything to respond to this. So let's just see what we get. So if I say I don't understand, it says I don't quite understand, try again or ask a different question. If I ask like do uh, you like to use Java at bot, let's see if we get that too. Um, okay, so this one was a mistake, but I, if I ask questions that don't really make any sense, the bot doesn't have a high degree of confidence in, it should hopefully give us a response that looks like that. And that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do here quickly. I want to try to ask another question that will prove this. Uh, let's just say, do you know awesome tuts? This is just a guy on YouTube that I've been talking to recently. So I just said do that. And I don't quite understand, try again or ask a different question. So since it didn't have a response for that, it hopefully picked this one and then said, I don't try, I don't understand rather than just giving us some gibberish random answer, right? Okay, so anyways, let's show how we can do that. So for those of you that didn't kind of pick up on this before, what essentially happens with our chatbot is we are returned a list of probabilities. And those are the probabilities on like how probable it thinks, for example, it is um, the hello intent or the goodbye intent or all those different classes or labels or intents or whatever we call them, right? So what we can actually do is we can look at the specific value that was returned to us and determine whether or not that is high enough for us to deem an acceptable response. So for example, we might get a bunch of different probabilities and they might um, have like one probability is like 20%, one's 10, another's 10, another's 10, another's 10, another's 10, and the highest probability is only 20%. Well, yes, that is the most probable answer for our chatbot, but does it make sense? Probably not. And you can tell that because the bot is kind of having a hard time deciding between all of the different responses. So let me print this out just to show you guys what I mean by this. So if I print um, 
results here and I'm just gonna run the kind of console version of my bot which I had before which doesn't actually have all the same responses as before uh, so let's just activate chat chat bot uh, if I spell chat bot correctly uh, let's CD to desktop CD to simple chat bot copy and we'll just go Python main .py. Um, so now you should see in a second once this loads up and does its thing and I start typing to it uh, that it asks me What do you call it uh, or it prints out the probabilities for any given response? So just give me a second here. I don't know what's happening here um, Okay, so I guess it's retraining the model for some reason anyways, we'll wait for that to finish Okay, so start talking so now if I say like hello you can see that it prints out a list of probabilities. Now see that we have a probability, it's like 1.17.0e uh, to the negative two, like all these just different numbers. Um, and this is the list of probabilities. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at all these numbers, we're gonna find the greatest number, and then that's the response that we're going to return. And that's exactly what this line has done, right? Results index equals numpy to argmax results, which just means pick the index of the largest number in here essentially so now what we're going to do is actually look at that number and say okay is this above a certain threshold uh is it above maybe 70 percent or 80 percent or whatever it is if it is then we will do the correct response otherwise we'll say you know this doesn't make any sense like ask another question or something like that or i don't understand something so that the user feels like the bot is maybe a little bit smarter and it's not just giving us a random answer so let's quit this if I can get out of that uh, and now what I'm gonna do is actually look at this value and just do a little if statement and say you know if whatever so let's do that uh, so what I'm gonna do first actually is I'm gonna change this just to zero so I'm gonna put a zero here which just means like pick the first list because it gives us a list of lists for all of our different probabilities and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say if let's say here if results and then results index is greater than 0 0.7 which means 70 percent confidence so we get at least 70 percent as that value then we'll go ahead and we'll pr uh, print one of those random responses from the appropriate tag otherwise we'll simply print um i didn't get that and you can put whatever you want here obviously didn't get that uh try again or something like that Right, so now this way when we ask a question that the bot's not sure of, it's gonna say, okay, well, I didn't really get that. Try again, and then the user's gonna feel like it makes more sense. So let's run this one more time. Uh, Python main.py. This usually takes a second to get going here. Um, I don't know why it keeps retraining the model anyways. I think I like messed up something in the try statement here to make it do that. Oh, I did, I just put tim.py, so it would do that every time. Anyways, uh, let's type something. So if I type like, um, this makes no sense I didn't get that try again if I go hello then obviously I'm gonna get the answer and you can see that is kind of how that works so anyways this kind of been like a little bonus video it's not super I don't know crazy but for any of you that wanted to know how to do this to get an error threshold I saw some people asking about it there you go and you know a cool little example of how this FAQ bot works if you want to test it out yourself feel free to join my discord server just come on here go to FAQ and start talking with the bot and obviously you can talk in the other channels and talk to me as well so if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any ideas for other series that you'd like to see please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to consider those going forward.